Hi everyone, welcome back to a little more Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, slash Happy Home Paradise. I think this is going to be more of a Happy Home Paradise video. I just wanted to uh, start recording here because today is Kyle's birthday. Make sure I have a gift. Um, I have a duplicate gyroid, so I thought it, it would be fun to give it to him for his birthday. Another year, another chapter in the rich life story of the one they call Kyle. One event that will stand out as I look back will be Renee giving me a gift just now. So anything you want to share with me, Moxie? I got you a gift. Let me adjust my mic a little bit. I just noticed it was like above my head. Let's see how he likes it. Of course, open it. Whoa, are you really giving this to me? No take backs now, Alpha. You're too generous. They always like the gift, no matter what you get them, I think, on their birthday. Oh, so cute. Hi, Renee. It's Kyle's rock star day. Come on, it's time to get wild. I, yep, yep. Oh, I know. Let's all cheer real loud whenever Kyle smiles. Let's just talk to him one more time. I won't say how old I am, so don't even ask. Okay. It's not because I'm embarrassed, it just makes me more enigmatic to never reveal my age. That's English for mysterious, haha. -ha. <laughs> I like Kyle, he's cute. Wait up, Moxie. It's my birthday, so I reserve the right to give an emotional speech before anyone leaves. Haha, -ha, just kidding, but thank you for everything, seriously. I like Kyle. He's not bad for a smug. Um, before we head over to the archipelago, I want to take a look at an area. Oh yeah, I had some shooting stars. I want to look at an area I did for Drago. I moved his house over the weekend. Um, I didn't do any recordings over the weekend because I hurt myself on Friday and just have been a little just kind of in a, not a funk, but just I was really sore and kind of pouty. <laughs> Um, Friday, yeah, I was getting ready to decorate our house for Christmas, and I needed to move some furniture around, and my clumsy self managed to trip <laughs> and just full-on faceplant <laughs> on our living room floor, and I landed on my, I have a bad knee already, and I landed on it, and even today, it's still so sore. I've got a big old goose egg on the knee. Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of just did, I just took the weekend to just have some fun maybe getting started decorating my own island. I did go over to the archipelago and I uh, started a couple designs because I realized if I don't kind of pre-start them, like just sort of load a bunch of furniture in the room and pick out wallpaper and stuff, these videos take like an hour and I just feel like that's really long. So hopefully I'll go over there and we can do a couple of designs today, uh, probably in separate videos. But this way they should only be like 30 to 45 minutes. I get so indecisive. <laughs> so for Drago, I I kind of went off the theme of his house. My bamboo isn't grown in yet. I just planted it yesterday. But I really just wanted kind of a zen, pretty little yard. So I went with this gazebo. I'm really bummed still that we can't put anything under here. But then I went with the outdoor bath and I thought just a mixture of all the different white flowers would be really pretty with the green of the bamboo. We've got a couple bamboo lamps and the little cherry blossom. I don't have any cherry blossom DIYs yet. These were items I brought from my old island. And I just thought, how about a cute little picnic spot? So I like it. And I have a uh, little tape recorder or cassette player or whatever it is behind this. Uh, is it the Zen? No, what's this one called? I forget what this DIY is called. But anyway, behind this stone here. So I have my favorite song, KK Lovers, playing. So I just thought this was really sweet and pretty. And I'm working on an area here. This was just something I did before bed last night. I like the idea of the two fences. And I thought maybe we'll put a snooty or smug villager here in that spot. I'm not fully, uh, like fully decided on this, but I kind of liked the idea of the brick columns and making a formal little garden or sitting area. So 
So working on that, and I moved Maple over here because she's got kind of a woodsy sort of feel to her. So that's gonna be near my campsite. So I'll probably move another house over here. Hey, Flix here. And for any who haven't seen it yet, I finished up moving my farm and my chicken coop over to this part of the island. I'm happy with it. I, I really kind of like how this came out. Got my little farm stand, just all my produce. You know, nothing fancy, nothing overly done. I, I'm really kind of like a more simple, um, less cluttered aesthetic for me personally, because when running around, if I get stuck on anything, I get really impatient. So and I think my museum. Oh, yeah, I added this guy <laughs> and the floaty moss ball balloon. <laughs> I think I like them sitting here. I like the ball behind his head. It's like a green moon or something behind him. So anyway, that's just a little update and a little tour of what I've been doing here. Um, oh, who's hanging out? Oh, look at our little rhinos are sitting together. They're so cute together. <laughs> oh no, that's adorable. Um, the only other thing I've done too is I've added some railing with some flowers. This is so like, if I ever list my island on the turnip ex exchange, it'll be really easy to just fence this off so people can't wander and <laughs> cause chaos. I also like the way it looks. I think it's kind of pretty. So still not sure what to do with this side of the island. I'll probably move some houses there too. Maybe do a little park-like setting, maybe with some flower beds and uh oh, that little red, cute little bridge from one of the uh, Sanrio cards with the lanterns. It's the frog character, right? I'm sorry, I don't remember the name right now. I'm I'm still a little out of it. <laughs> I want to go to work, please. So yeah, I've been popping over to the archipelago just to see what's for sale every day. Buy any goodies, but like I said, I just loaded up a couple houses with furniture I want to place for them. And then took off so I could do the finishing touches for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying them. I'm having a lot of fun making them. Oh, and another thing, I'm so sorry this didn't get recorded. Um, but I've un I haven't fully unlocked the hospital yet, but we're on track to do that. When I popped over here Saturday, Lottie took ill, had to be flown off the island. She's back though. <laughs> and so I'm guessing, who's this bird? Uh, I'm guessing we'll be getting the island after we do a certain number of houses. Hi Jitters, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I like him. I'm having so much fun that relaxing is impossible. Resort life, yeah! <laughs> he reminds me of if any of you ever watched that show How I Met Your Mother and they brought back that soda tantrum. I feel like he should be yelling tantrum because <laughs> he's just so hyped. <laughs> oh gosh, let's see what message we got here. I've got to remember to run my beach for my falling, my star fragments. Glowing moss flooring. Oh, yeah, I thought we had that. But I'm still saving these for my husband. <laughs> hey, it's Beardo! But I don't think he's going to be playing. This place inspires me. I feel like I could write an epic poem. All right, I'm sorry. My cat's in the litter box. You might hear her scratching. So, at least that's the only noise she really makes in there. <laughs> Hi, Jeremiah. Are you a bullfrog? <laughs> He's cute. All right, let's get to work. I'm sorry. Oh, Octavian is here again. We're going to have to just do his house. Um, one of the houses we started was Pudge's. I'll show you guys what they are. Uh, and then we'll get to work. You're a good girl. So Pudge wants a pretentious palace. And uh, Mac wants like a campsite. So we'll, um, I think we'll probably finish up Max first. That should be, okay, baby girl, a little bit faster. Scarlet's gonna be yelling a little bit. She's had wet food for breakfast. I've given her kibble. She has fresh water. I've scooped her box. 
but she will still find a reason to yell. <laughs> if she keeps it up, I'll pause. Good morning, Lottie. Okay, I kind of like that table. I have um, a couple of these pieces already for the uh, Nordic furniture. That's almost all my pokey, but you know what? I'm buying it. Good morning, Wardell. Just saying hi. I think there are some things I want to order, but I don't have a whole lot of uh, pokey right now. I am looking for work. Let's get to it. Let's get you working. Thank you, Lottie. Um, I want to see what some of the people that are new to the island are wanting, because if it's something that interests me, we'll get them placed into a house and then finished up at a later date. I, uh, I really think this idea of me loading them in. Yeah, he wants to relax by the sea. I should make him roommates. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, I might do that off camera. Make him roommates with Marina. Or I'll do that a little bit later today on, on video. I need a place to train and dominate in futsal? Futsal. I guess football? You want a gym? I should make you roommates with the uh, other, other dude. A uh, place to nap. What do you want, Beardo? An English garden. That would be lovely. I could make... I have a few people I could make these guys roommates with. I might have to think about that. I want a place where my greenery can get lots of light. Is that Celeste? Not Celeste. Celia. No, not, that's not Celia. Amelia. I think that was Amelia. <laughs> I knew I'd hit on it eventually. <laughs> okay. Hi, Eloise. Thank you. Mm, I keep forgetting what he wants. Oh, okay. Muscle building. Oh, that's funny. This is Celia. An elegant room for reading elegantly. Ooh, could use some of the fancy furniture. A hut on a big mountain with fresh air. That would be fun too. All right, I'm not gonna worry. Let's, you know what? Enough dilly-dallying, look at this. We're already 12 minutes in and I haven't even started any decorating. <laughs> for anybody who hasn't seen one of my other videos when I said decorating, that's a term, a word I've been using since I was a little kid. I remember my sister and I would go up into our, I think it's when we still shared a room. I didn't get my own room till I was like in third grade, but we would decorate our room and come running downstairs and I'd say, mommy, mommy, come look, I decorated my room. <laughs> Probably way cuter way back then than it is now. I'm a little grown up to be a little old to be saying decorated. Uh, let's go visit Mac. Let's see if I still like the outside. I need to grab a sip of water. But yeah. He wanted... Oh yeah, I did like what I did out here. We're at... We are... Here we are at Max Vacation Home. So yeah, I, I... All of the items he originally wanted, I have out here. He wanted the little cook fire, the sleeping bag, and I think it was one of these chairs. So we gave him a little bench to sit on here. He's got the little tent clothesline. I just thought this was kind of cute and sweet. I like the little fishing spot. So, I'm sorry, my voice is a little weird today. It's kind of coming and going. I owe you big time for all the help earlier. You built me one serious workout space. Now see, now he's saying workout space, but it really was supposed to be more camp themed. What? I think he wants to be able to work out and camp. Oh yeah. We get a reward. A backyard lawn. Nice. So maybe... What did his design originally say? Yeah, just Camp Mac. It was all camping, but because he's a jock, he's mentioning working out. Maybe we'll give him a kettlebell or something in here. So yeah, and I like... I did a little baby tree. I thought that was so cute. So let's go inside. I honestly, I think I put like a Meadows wallpaper down and then the backyard flooring because I want to make the inside look like it's outside. I could do, I thought about doing just a, uh, like an accent wall or something, but I really like 
um, the idea of this whole house looking like it's outside. Whoop. I want to make the room a little bit bigger. And these were just some ideas I had of things that would be fun to use in the room. So I just plunked them down. Oh, I haven't talked to him about remodeling yet. Oh my gosh, and I can't get to him. I am really having a case of the Mondays. I've been up for hours, but I feel like I just rolled out of bed. You know that kind of heavy feeling your face gets when your allergies are bad and it's like almost like you have a cold, but you don't? That's just sort of how I'm feeling today. I'm bruised. I'm sore. <laughs> uh, let's talk remodeling. Yes. Woof, woof. Leave it all to me, Mac. Sounds good to him. I change up my routine all the time. Helps me stay fresh. Woo, woof. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea really what all. We'll just start placing stuff around. I do think maybe we should make it a little bit bigger. And uh, get some ambiance, too. Ocean, probably fields. Oh, I had jungle, but you can't hear it over the fountain. Let's go with fields. Oh my goodness, it's like, where do I want to even begin? I brought this, I thought the shed would be kind of neat in here because I thought it looked like a little outhouse. <laughs> of course, that won't fit there yet. That's the problem with plunking everything down in the room. It's hard then to be like, well, where do I want it all to go? And I've ordered some of this stuff for um, my campsite, like this uh, cook stove. Now I'm almost wondering if we should use the stream flooring and make... Nah, I'm not going to get too too crazy. It's too bad we can't... Um, oh, what am I trying to say here? Can't put bridges and stuff inside. It'd be neat to use the stream flooring and have it look like there's a little bridge going over it. I'm just moving stuff to the peripherals just to get it out of the way so I can see what I'm doing here. Should probably put that cute little tent inside here too. Maybe with the camping cot. We'll keep the table I think sort of centered in the room. Big old rock for no reason other than yeah why not. <laughs> Use those for some seating. All right, so now, yeah, I like this outdoor cooking table. I got one, it's probably in my mail right now. I'm not gonna use any partition walls, I don't think, for this. I just want it to be like a big open campsite. Just trying to figure out, um, yeah, maybe, I'm almost wondering if instead of the uh, um, big table, if we just want some chairs and stuff. Oh, I can't rotate it when I'm holding it. That's all a different color. I think I was going with the orangey color wood. I never use it, so I thought it'd be fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, maybe we'll put like a this fire pit more central. And use that with some camp chairs around it. And he does have his sleeping bag and a tent outside, so we don't really have to have that inside. But we'll make this like his little kitchen area. Put his carp on a board. He's just gone fishing and has a fresh catch. Put some wood here. Put his cooler probably next to his stove. That would make sense if I were camping. We'll put this up here. A little picnic basket. <laughs> there we go. Oh, gosh. 
Maybe that is more of a storage shed and not an outhouse. It's kind of rude thinking of it as an outhouse. <laughs> we'll probably use a few of these lanterns. And I don't know, I guess I just thought the plant was kind of pretty. I know we need some plants and stuff in here. Maybe we'll put this hammock over here somewhere. So then we have this campfire where everybody can sit and make s'mores. I like the idea of using log stools. Maybe we'll use the stool as an end table. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm going to be very throat cleary as usual. <laughs> oh, wait. Those aren't the... I'm getting myself confused. Let's find the camp chairs. I really like these. Let's do a different color. I know Scarlet. Oh, she's such a sad, such a sad kitty. <laughs> she's having a rough day. Um, maybe we want more of a pop of color. How's the red look? Yeah, I like the red. So then we've got our end tables where we can have cups of cocoa or something. Oh, those are too close to the fire. Baby girl, can you not rub on the desk and stuff, please? So what if we put our hammock? No, I do like the idea of the hammock next to the bath, though. Maybe I need to move my kitchen over to this side. This lower corner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or we'll just do this. Like, a little peaceful spot next to the tree. I just love these leaf piles. I don't know why. I, look. I guess it's just because of the way they move when you run through them. I want to move all of this over just a little. So it's not completely centered, but a little more centered. I feel like I could be a little more creative with how this is coming about. I want to look through the list. I could give them an actual outhouse, but that would probably be rude. We don't need a barbecue. We've got the fire pit and the cook stove. I don't think I want the tent in here. I have it outside. We have this outside. We've got the picnic basket. Let's put some cups of like coffee or whatever on their stools. Maybe another lantern. Might put one on the dining table at least. I know when we go camping, there's not a ton of light. Maybe some of this mushroom potage on one table. And then we'll do this mug of... This could be a teacup, whatever he wants in it, though. Let's go with the fish kanji. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Put a cup of that here. <laughs> okay, try again here. <laughs> and then we've got this here. Okay, he liked that. Let's copy the lantern. Put that so they can see what they're eating. I feel like we need more here. Maybe he has two hammocks. I don't know that this plant really goes. Although I kind of like it. You want, I don't know, a little bit of the, bring the outside inside. Can't really hang anything on the walls because, you know, it's a meadow. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything we would hang from the ceiling. I want to just keep a natural sort of vibe. Maybe some hanging glo gl gloss, glowing moss above the uh, bath. What? I hit the wrong thing. Well, let's, is there a darker green? No. Because 
I, I feel like we need something kind of fun. Eh. <laughs> I don't I don't know about that. Maybe I'm taking this too literal. <laughs> I still like it though. It adds a little interest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else we could add. Um, I want to look. Maybe he has a little shanty mat under his area here. I, f I just, I want to add something for a little interest. move all of this over now again because <laughs> I don't like where the mat is that looks a little better I think it breaks up the carpet a little we don't have any mats that look like dirt do we <laughs> like I want to give him a little dirt under his hammocks or something I don't know would he have stones No. I like the grass. Uh, maybe a mushroom lamp or something just kind of fun like that. Let's go under. Let's just look at everything. See if anything jumps out at me. You never know. Oh, a round pillow. Hmm. Hmm, no. Oh, yeah, I was going to give him a kettlebell for working out. <laughs> See, I don't want the camping cot. I like the hammocks. We've got a sleeping bag outside. Oh, yeah, that hay bale reminds me. I need to go finish Tipper's Ranch, too. I'll have to do that today as well. There's so many great things that have been added with this DLC. I just love the looks of so much of it. Good girl, Scarlet. I think she's going to lie down. Let's do a uh, red mushroom. Oh, I like the yellow. Let's see how the yellow looks. Maybe over here. Actually, let's put it here. I, I know the leaf piles are just kind of silly, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I just like that they add a little interest. Okay, we're probably close to done on his. Not going super fancy. I'm not going to add a speaker or anything like that. I think I mentioned that earlier. I mean, I know when I haven't been camping, really. It's, I, we used to go when I was a little kid all the time. Um, and I haven't gone again since I was... I went once when I was in my 20s with my roommate. Um, but uh, just... It was, you know, we liked it being quiet at night. Even though, you know, at home we'd always have music and stuff blasting. We didn't while we were there. Just enjoyed the peace and quiet. We already gave him the clothesline. I think this will just about be it. If I have any other ideas, I can always come back and add them later. I did think about maybe giving him a smoker. That might be kind of fun instead of the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just keep that separated. Yeah, I like that. So that's why it's good to kind of slowly go through here every once in a while. You never know. Just, you know, something will catch your eye. Or I always forget about different things, too. Well, we could do the angled signpost. Let's see. That's for forest. Fishing spot. Did I put one of these outside? I think I have one outside. Yeah, I think I have one outside. 
no tiki torch, no hay bales. I had thought about the cave, but we used that in Tucker's design. I don't know if there's anywhere for the deer scare. I like the sound it makes. I don't know why I'm adding it. Now I feel like I'm just adding stuff to add stuff for no real reason. That and we just, I felt like I needed something else over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we've already got a rock. We don't need any more rocks. Gravestone would be a little weird while you're camping. Mm -hmm. I guess now we'll just look for his kettlebell. I can't wait to get some more of the uh, bamboo DIYs. I just saw like the one for the bamboo lunchbox. I really want that for uh, Drago's yard. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've crafted a kettlebell, so there should be one in here somewhere. Gotta give our jock his little kettlebell for working out. There it is. Let's go with red. <laughs> Just put it right here by his chair. So when he's ready, <laughs> he can get up and start working out. Well, let's see how he likes it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I think it's kind of a cute little campsite. <laughs> well done, Mac. It is. I think we're going to see if we can change him into a different shirt. Maybe something plaid. I always like to wear a flannel shirt, like over a t-shirt when I'm going to be outside or anything at night. Gotta have some layers. I like the name as is. Oh god, Scarlet's grooming. Guys, I'm so sorry. He was sound asleep in our bedroom and I thought she would stay there. And as soon as I came in here, she decided this is where the fun was. I don't know about the uh, <laughs> hanging, glowing uh, moss stuff, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving it. I love this wallpaper with the flowing river through it. I think it's kind of cute. It's just like a big field and a meadow. It'd be a perfect camping spot. Good girl. I'd rather go camping on a nice grassy field than in the dirt. <laughs> He's so stoked that I helped make this dream a reality. Wow, this guy's house looks really cool and good. Someone should photograph it for their portfolio. Whoa, who said that? <laughs> yes, I'll take photos. Okay, Mac, let's first let us see about getting you in a different shirt. Although I do like his shirt. I want to see if there's something that's a little more... Look at me, I'm out camping. I feel like every time we're getting more and more options, which is nice. Um, layered, I like the jacket better than the layered polo. Yeah, not seeing the shirt I was thinking of yet. No, nope. we'll just go with the little zip up jacket. I like the red on him. He looks really cute. <laughs> he looks so happy there. Hey, let's move him. Positions, please. <laughs> okay. And get me out of there. Let's zoom in, go up a little bit, find a good angle. That's kind of an interesting angle, I think. I like it. Can I get to him to say goodbye now, though? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> we 
Louise. There we go. So what's next for you? Need anything? I'm heading back. Safe travels, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much, Mac. <laughs> Might not have been my most creative, but I like it. Thanks so much, Moxie. Here's 7,500 Pokey for your remodeling work. Finished for today? I'm gonna keep working. It's always a good idea to chat with folks who are visiting our island and talk up the business. Good luck. Alright, I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>